Hello, now you can hear me. I had my freaking mic muted. Well, if you don't check your levels, then you're not gonna, I'm gonna start this video over now. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. My channel is fundamentally about quadcopters, uh, but really what my channel is about is whatever the heck I happen to be doing, it just so happens that the, like the only thing I ever freaking do is quadcopters. <laughs> But I also make videos, and every so often I come across a piece of equipment or software that is so freaking good for video production that I have to share it with you, even though I know that the majority of my audience, it's not useful for you. So if you only turn up for the quadcopters, this is not the video for you, but if you ever do live streaming, if you ever do video, recorded video interviews like over Skype, I am going to show you a piece of software that you need. You're going to love this. It's going to solve problems that you've been struggling with for a long time and make a whole bunch of other things you never noticed a lot easier. Let's take a look at it. And the software is from a company called VB Audio, and there's there's two pieces of software they make that really are, are blowing my mind right now, but all their software is pretty interesting. The first one is called Banana, and Banana is basically a mixing board for your computer. So it can take inputs and mix them down to outputs with, with various, you know, anything a mixing board, an audio mixing board can do, it can kind of do with your software. And the other one is virtual audio cable. And the problem that that solves is the ability to take the output of one program and connect it directly to the input of another program. So one of the limitations of Windows is that it basically has one main sound driver and all of the outputs from all of your programs get intermingled in that. They all play at the same time and it's not possible to really extract one program. Let's say I just want to record the audio from my Skype call. Well, you can't do that if you're also playing a video that all gets mixed in and all gets recorded at the same time. With the virtual audio cable, you can say, no, 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 no. Skype is going to play over here and my recorder is going to read from over there. And basically, you can extract the audio from one program. Or if you combine that with Banana, you can do really cool stuff. Because, for example, you can see here, here are the input lines. These are hardware inputs. And, of course, one of them is my microphone. And you can see right here, that's, I'm using it right now to record from uh, for, for this audio, for this very video. And you can do all kinds of things, like I've got it set to mono because I don't like to record in stereo because I find that the moving back and forth people find to be a little bit confusing. Um you know, I can change my levels, etc. I've got a nice proper VU meter where I can see if I'm peaking. Gosh, how freaking hard is that? And you can even do cool stuff like you can pan. You can, if you want to do surround sound, there's a gate. There's a sound, there's a noise gate to eliminate background noise and even a very basic compressor. Super, super cool. Over here on the second channel, I've used the virtual audio cable to extract the output from Skype. So if we go into Skype here, what you'll see is that in my audio settings, I've got the output going to cable B. And what that's done is that I've got the input here. This is the input here is coming from cable B. So Skype will play not to my system sound, not to my speakers, but to this input channel. And then I will route this input channel as needs be. So if I want the audio from Skype to go into my live stream, for example, I've got my live stream on bus A2. I've got XSplit, which is my live streaming software, set up to take its input from A2. So I can route my Skype call to my live stream if that's what I want to do. Or I could start up Audacity and start Audacity recording from this input. And then I could record just my Skype audio. Isn't that pretty freaking cool? I can route the mic the same way. You can see here I've got my mic routed. A2 is going to XSplit, which is recording this call, uh, this very video. A3 is the mix down for Skype. So anything on anything that's punched down to A3 gets played out as so it's my Skype audio. So you can see here in my microphone, I haven't got Skype listening to my microphone. I've got it listening to this cable A, this virtual audio cable. And I've got cable A set to as the output for 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 bus uh, for this bus. 
So anything I punch down onto A3 goes out to Skype, which means if I want to play some audio onto a Skype call, I just take my system sound, which is right here, and I punch it down to A3, and I play that right out to my Skype call. Isn't that cool? Of course, if I, if I don't want them to hear my mic, I can just take my mic right off that Skype call. And in fact, if I do this, then you won't hear any audio because I've taken you off XSplit. And of course, this will cause sound to come out my speakers. You won't hear my amp is turned down, but there you go. So you can really, it's so freaking cool. So you can really just slice and dice your audio any which way you need it to be. And this is the thing I've struggled with for so long, needing to record my own audio separate from my guest's audio, needing to balance my audio with my guest's audio when I do an interview, not having a proper VU meter in the software that I use to record. All of these problems, this just solves it and it's freaking amazing. And the beautiful thing about it is it's completely donationware. You can download this right now for free, no comp no obligation, and you can use it. It's not even nagware, really, I don't think. It just You just try it out, play with it. It's a little complicated. It took me a couple hours of fiddling around to get all this working, but now that it is, it's so freaking cool just to be able to send audio anywhere I need it to go. Super, super freaking cool. So excited. Love it. If you need this, you're loving it too, and you're downloading it already. And if you don't, if you're like, why do I need this? Well, I don't know why you're still watching, but I'm glad you are. Thank you for watching, and happy video production sound mixing. Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye-bye.